Hey guys, this is Greg Benz with an overview of my favorite new features in Lomenzio version 2.0. Now, despite what the name might suggest, this is a free upgrade for all existing Lomenzio customers. I just simply ran out of other logical numbers after 1.9, so 2.0 it is. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is an enhancement to selection that you need to be on CC 2015 or later to use this, uh, but I think you're gonna love this. And that is if you load up a selection with the selection tool. So for example, I'm gonna click on a Lights 3 preview. I wanna be able to select the sky in this image so I can adjust it. And if I hit the selection button, I'll get a selection just like I always have in Lumenza. And we can see the marching ants that outline that selection. But what you'll also notice is now the selection button is turned green to indicate that there is an active selection. If I deselect by hitting Command D, you'll notice that the button turns white. So it always knows if there's a selection. In fact, even if we go and use something like the magic wand tool to make a selection, that button will turn green. So anytime there's an active selection that turns green, and that's very helpful because sometimes you might do something like hide the marching ants with Command H like that. Uh, and you won't know that there's a selection necessarily on your screen. It's hard to tell if you don't see the marching ants. Or for example, let's say we had a dark midtones mask where nothing is more than 50% selected. So when we create the selection, we'll get a warning, but we won't see any marching ants no matter what. But we just have a nice little reminder that there's an active selection. So that just helps us remember that we need to deselect that when we're done with it. The next feature update here is also in the selection tool, and this applies to all users. If you click on the selection button with an active selection, you now get the option to save your active selection. So I'm just gonna call this dark midtones, and I've now saved my selection. I'm going to deselect it, and you'll notice it's now red, indicating that there's a save selection. So again, this is a CC 2015 feature with the color itself, but the save selections work for all users. When I click on this, we can see that my dark midtone selection is available. I'm just going to cancel out of that and let's make a few more selections and just get a feel for how this works. So if I do a quick mask, I might want to save that. And I'm just gonna call that quick mask sky to save that. And let's do a lights three selection of the sky. And I can just simply click on that twice, once to load it as a selection and a second time to save the selection. And I'm gonna call this L3 for sky and save that. And I'm going to deselect. So we'll notice that when it's selected, the button was green always. When it's deselected, it will be red if there's a save selection or it'll go back to white if there's no saved or active selection. Now when I click on this, I can see all my saved selections. So I can load any of these simply by clicking on the one I want and hit load. And so now I've reloaded that quick mask. So this is a great way to pull up selections you might have. If you're, for example, working on black and white lung exposure images, you might wanna make intricate masks of these buildings with the pen tool or a creative combination of luminosity masks or whatever technique you might use and being able to save these so you can quickly pull them up and use whatever mask you need to use is very, very helpful. And also as a reminder, when you're done with this, of course, saving these masks is adding a little bit to the file size that get saved as channels. You can simply delete these from the document and that red just serves as a reminder to delete them. So when I click on selection now, we'll notice that there's no active selection or there's nothing to load. So it just warns us that we can't do anything right now in that current state. So the selection button now has gotten really powerful. We can use it to load a Lumenzio preview to the image as a selection it will tell us anytime there is a selection active in the document and we can use it to save and reload selections into the document without ever having to jump over to the channels palette or jump up to the menus in the top of Photoshop. So just very, very convenient and flexible way to work with selections. The next update I wanna show on Lumenzia is the color tool. And I'm gonna show this as an example here. If we we're going to make a selection of the sky, we can see that the sky is white as is the building. So there's there's really no luminosity mask I could choose where I get just the sky or just the building. There's no clear delineation, but of course the color is very obvious to our eyes. So what we need to do is select the lighter parts that are also blue. And the way we can do that is to simply load a light three selection. I wanna apply it as a curve so I can darken it. And we can see on our curve when we make an adjustment that we're now adjusting everything that was selected. So the building is still adjusting. We need a, a way to knock that out and not affect the building. Clicking on color 
presents us with some new options. So the first one, interactive, is the same option we've had in the color tool before. And if I click on that, I'll get the option to start clicking in the image and I'm holding down the shift key to add to the selection. So I could go through and interactively make a selection and I'm holding the alt key to subtract, but you can very quickly make custom selections of whatever you need. So that would be the historic way we could do that. However, um, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it now is using these quick color options. So if I just simply go in here and say blue and hit mask, it will save me all that trouble. It has already created a blue mask of the sky here. And now when we adjust our curve, we're only adjusting the sky. We can see that that building is now protected with the blue mask. So this just gives us a very quick way of selecting the colors throughout the image. And we can use the combined tool in Lumens if we want to put these into a single mask. And now we can see the resulting mask here. So this is lights three blue mask that we have here. And I now have in just a couple of steps gained very good control over the sky to restore a little bit more color and detail to that sky, kind of going from that before to the after image. So that's the new select and color options in Lumenzio version 2.0. I hope you love it. Please comment, write me back, let me know what you think.